Hello everyone, welcome to your week four strength workout. My name is Caitlin and we're ready to go through it. Make sure before you start this workout, do your pillar prep and movement prep. Um, so this workout's gonna be a little different than the other weeks. In the past weeks, we've been adding weight by using a backpack or dumbbells or a band if you have them. Um, this week, we're gonna focus a little bit more on um, adding in pauses, pulses, or focusing on the negative portion of the rep. So um, you can feel free to still grab your backpack um, with weights or um, dumbbells if you have them and have them at the side if you want to make the exercise even more challenging. Um, but I think it'll be good to go as we are just using our body weight. Okay, let's get started. So our workout today is a pyramid format. We're starting with 20 reps, then we're going to 15, um, 10, 5, 1 minute, and then back down the other side with different exercises. I'm going to go through one round with you, and then you're going to do two to three rounds total. So feel free to restart the video where we started off with the exercises. If you want to do the round two and round three with me, um, or if you remember them all and you're ready to go, just go through them on your own. Okay, so we are starting with 20 squat with uh, two pulses at the bottom. So I want you to go with me at the same time. We're gonna be sitting in a squat, one, two, and then stand up, okay? Going for 20, ready? One, two, and up. One, two, nice. One, two, nice. Perfect. Good, we're done with five. Six. So sitting in your heels is the most important, keeping your chest up. Try to get nice and low on these. Awesome, we're halfway through here. Make sure you're checking in, keeping your back up nice and straight. Good, we have five more. Getting our heart rate up a little bit. Good, checking in, sitting back. Nice and low. Good, we have one more to go for our 20. And perfect. Next, we are going to either an overhead press if you have that backpack or dumbbell, you can do it over a press. I'm going to do something kind of crazy. Feel free to do this if you'd like. So, um, if you have a couch available, you can put your knees on that couch. Your head, top of your head is going to go straight down toward the mat. Button there. So you're going down, pressing up. Overhead press with that body weight. Two, we're going for 15. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Awesome. So, ways you can make that harder. Um, by making the angle harder. So you can go down, straight down. You can always do, if you're really, really strong, you can do a handstand against the wall and try it that way or walk out a little bit. Um, you can always modify by being here, down and up as well. It looks like a funky push-up. <laughs> okay, next we are gonna go into our tricep dips. You can always use that backpack over your head um, tricep overhead and, uh, extension instead. But we'll go here, keeping your body nice and close to that um, couch. You're going to go elbows back, and we're going for 10. There's one, two, three, four. If you need to make it easier, bring those feet in. If you want more of a challenge, keep those feet out. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Feel the burn. 
Next, this is one of my favorites. We're doing negative push-ups. So we're focusing on the negative portion of this push-up. Really good control with the core, nice and strong. You can either push back up at the top or you can just fall down to the ground slowly and then um, get up and start again. Okay, so starting in a push-up position, you're going to take five counts on the way down. So five, four, three, two, one, good. On the ground, get back up. You can always be on your knees for this as well. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Make sure that chest is coming down and you're not just bringing your hips down here. Back up. Five, four, three, two, one, nice. We have one more. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Awesome, guys. Okay, we're gonna hold plank for one minute. Ready? Three, two, one. Pillar bridge, plank hold. Nice tight core. Good, body nice and flat here. If you need a break, you can always come down to those knees. Really nice, holding strong, nice and flat. Halfway through. Good, you guys, 15 seconds to go here. Holding nice and strong, engaging that core. Nice, we have three, two, one, good, relax. Whew. Okay, next we have um, five reps, so going back up the other side of the pyramid. So, inchworm to a five second push up iso hold. I'm going to show you this direction just so you can see all of it. You're going to start standing. You're going to inchworm out. We're going to hold at the bottom of the push up for five seconds. We're really tight core. You can always bring your knees down to the ground for this one at the bottom. Okay, here we go. Inchworming out. And good. Going down to the iso hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Pressing back up, walking back up here. Woo. Good. I'll show you on your knees this time. Walking out, down, on your knees, holding five, four, three, two, one. Good. Pressing back up, walking back up here. Nice, you guys. We have three more. Good. Five. Four, three, two, one. Woo. Two more. We're really holding that good form the whole time. That's the most important here. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Last one here. You can stay on your toes this time. Go for it. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Nice, guys. Awesome. Okay, we are going into prone lat pull downs. Um, so, if you do have a band and you can attach it around the foot of a couch or a chair that's a strong hold or under a doorway, great. Do that and you can do the pull. That way, if you don't have a band, that's totally fine. I'm gonna show you here. So you're gonna start with your hands out front, and you're gonna pull back really nice and strong, engaging those lats, and then coming back. We're gonna do 10 of these. Pulling back nice and strong, just like you're doing that pull up, 
and down, or a lat pull down. Good. Breathing out when you're pulling. Nice and strong engagement. Good. Five. Six, really nice. Since you don't have weight here, you are making the tension, pulling it with your muscles and your lats. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, let's hold for three seconds. There's three, two, and one, good. Nice job, you guys. That should be harder than you thought it was going to be. So if it wasn't, you need to do a little more engagement in your lats. Okay, we are going into straight leg setups. 15 reps. Keeping our feet out. Hands over your head. Just a little bit here. Up over your head. And back down. If it's really hard to set up for any reason, you can always do... Um, a crunch up and down instead here. Crunching up and down. Okay, we're going for a 15. Up and through and down. Really good control, especially on the way down here. Two. Three. Four. Five, good. Don't let those feet lift off the ground. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, good. We have five more. There's eleven. 12, 13, 14, really nice and controlled on this last one, and 15. Awesome, guys. Okay, we're going into curtsy lunges. We're doing 10 each side, so 20 total. We're doing a pause at the bottom. So we're going to step back and down. So keeping your hips in alignment, then we're going to step over that other side and down, pause. One, two, like that, okay? One, two. One, two, good. One, two. Keeping that chest up as much as you can here. This is if you did have another weight. You could definitely hold that on this one here. Good, we're halfway through here. Nice hold at the bottom. Good, keeping that weight in that front heel. Nice, you guys. We just have two more. There's one, two, and one, two. Awesome. Made it through round one. So, you are going through two, one to two more times on your own. So, feel free to start, start it back at the beginning. Go through it or go through it on your own. Enjoy, and let us know how this workout went. Comment on our Instagram. Okay, have a good week. Bye.